Hi friends, <clears throat> I'm back with another journal share. This one is named Wildflower because of the uh, wildflowers on the uh, cover of the book. Um, she's uh, nine and a fourth tall and six wide, so she's really big. Um, she's got seven signatures with ten pages each for 280 plus pages. Um, she has a nameplate or a book plate tab here that can be um, brought out and and uh, used however the new owner wants. If she wants to put journal or diary or nature, whatever she wants to put here. It's kind of a nature theme. It's an old yearbook of agriculture from 1927 and it's in really good shape. Some of the pages in here are from that book. So let's get started. Each signature cover is an old map page. I'm going to try to get this a little higher up. That's not going to work. Okay, so each cover the inside of the cover has a pocket and the front cover is decorated. I've done some collaging and a little bit of extra here with some buttons and lace. Here's my thank you card and a few other little tidbits, little journal cards. And I thought this was a fun little addition. It's a little workbook page for elementary school. I like I liked this image. Some of the uh, ephemera can be our digital downloads from my shop. Here's another little tuck. And I put lace on the first page of every signature as well. Maybe if I got rid of that, it may help a little bit. She's a chunky monkey, and I love how she looks. This is an old book ledger, or bank ledger, and look at the calligraphy. It's beautiful from the late 1800s and here is an old typing class book page and then I put a little pocket here a little collaged book page and then this is just this is um, a digital from my shop I found a bunch of music old 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 music books and I love the graphics so I scanned them, cleaned them up, and made digitals out of them. There's pages and um, little uh, journal cards you can download on my web on my Etsy store. Lots of uh, copy dyed pages. Here's another um, bookkeeping page and I, I turned it up on itself and made little pockets at the bottom for extra storage space. This is an old music page that somebody must have had for a class and an old um, playing card back. And this one I just have staples. Some of the others I have a little um, little extra decoration on them. The middle of each signature, I've I've got some digitals called um, German postcards, and so that image I increased to the size of a page because I just I just love the graphics. Here's some more card backs, and then this is an envelope made out of an old couple book pages. And I've tucked some extra journaling space within that little envelope. This one's glued for the pocket. 
and then I just put this little graphic here and I tucked in a little little picture of some dogs giving a cat a bad time. I found some cool graphics and this is just like um, a drawings of like uh, sh the plans for making an old ship. This was fun. This is an old book page base and on the base I glued some old uh, coin sleeve he here and so I made little tiered slots with those and then they open on either end and so I put some little tabs on each one of them that can just be for extra little journaling and then above is a tuck as well for two little tags here's another typing page and then there's a belly band these are um, high school kids from the class of 1929 and I've just done some collaging of some pretty flowers along the way just a little extra journaling space funny thing is on on some of these um, signature covers the insides were upside down so it bothered me so I thought well that will just be a good place to put a blank page so you don't have to see that this is upside down I think the the front has the front one has one too just an extra blank page the things that you find out in the process of making <laughs> making a journal here's another one this was upside down this is right side well this one's sideways actually and this one is upside down so I covered it with an old scrapbook page and I've collaged a little bit on it and then I made a little pocket here for some more journaling space this is a page from the old book And let's see, yeah, I made, this is a belly band. I didn't put anything in there, so I better do that. I'll, I'll try to remember to do that. Oh, these green photo corners. I went to uh, an antique uh, store the other day and found two old scrap photo albums and I harvested all of their photo corners out of it didn't have any paper, uh, photos in it but it, they had left all of the corners on the pages so I I took them all <laughs> here's another pocket here's some journaling cards and here's an envelope um, so it holds a journaling card and another enlarged postcard from Germany And here's another postcard from Germany, just enlarged. Beautiful colors. Here's another, the other side of the envelope, and it was a window envelope, so whatever's in it, you can see. So there's another one of the um, music books that I scanned. And then here's just another opportunity for writing. So those go in here so you can see the pretty picture here and then here's a another little place to uh, tuck something and then some little um, statements or little receipts for extra journaling opportunity and there's another tuck here a little pocket with another card back and um, I found a cute little hymnal book 
it's just a nice little fun fun way to tuck things another photo album that I ran, came across had these little slit slits in it so um, they actually were bigger I think they were like like this and I sliced them in two and I thought well somehow I'll be able to use those so this one the bottom part was uh, raggedy so I just sliced it off I backed it with some more um, ledger paper to give it some some strength so here's a tuck spot here and a tuck spot here and here here's a little pocket made from some old book paper and I've collaged on it and here's another one of the um, music papers their graphics were just so cool and this one is just a little tuck with a place here a place for notes and then here's another little place to journal this is one of my Franken pages because the the size of the papers needed to be fairly big in this book so I had to stitch some together I did a little collaging on some of these paper pages so this is the one side of a flower and that's the other side some more places to journal because this is upside down but it's right well it's sideways this one is right side has beautiful vintage lace this video is taking forever so I'm going to go quickly through this found some old trading stamps they make fun collages some more of the drawings for the boat for the ship I should say There's another oh well, this one's a little tuck spot here you can put something in here and then right on the back more journaling space another center and this is just an old map this is kind of a woven piece that's used um, lots of paper cut them all apart and cut them in strips and then um, wove them together makes a fun little journal card and here's another journaling tag and it goes in here there's places to journal here and here and some journaling cards here too a little tuck spot Some more places to journal this is an old um, trading stamp page from a book trading book trading stamp book <laughs> it's Monday here's some more place to journal collage here's a, a little tuck spot rusted um, paper clip spot for an old this was a book cover I um, whitewashed it and then there's lots of journaling space there and I collaged this window envelope here and it says this talks about irises so I thought I'd have some irises on this side so I found this little couple pages in an old iris or a flower book Here's another pocket, and I kind of juiced it up a little bit here. There's a, another wildflower page. This one was fun. It's from a, um, a German book of wildflowers. So all of this is in German. 
another German inside center page and then here's this pocket is it um, goes from the side so here's some more of those music book pages and I like to have little ties to kind of strings that are all over the place I do have some uh, bangles throughout too I don't know if I've missed a few if I did I'm sorry some more collage another pocket another center okay here's a little bangle with a dragonfly on it and then this pocket has a an alphabet card on it there's another pocket with bingo card, writing space, this is a lighthouse drawing. bangle on this one and it's just a stitched pocket and I put some old 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 prescriptions in here kind of made sure you couldn't really read the name I guess it doesn't really matter they're probably dead by now because this was from August 3rd of 1940 so they're kind of fun I just think that you could like put them down on a page and that'll be extra journaling or you can just keep them in this little pocket for journaling here's another center and it has a an envelope flip I collaged this the back of the envelope or the front of the envelope and it opens up and there's um, some more journaling opportunity and this is another scan of one of those beautiful music books. Um, this is some of my washi tape. I used that to make the pocket and this pocket has a bunch of little chemistry flashcards and one of my homemade paper clips here's another little tuck spot I've got some little trading cards here window envelope just collaged over it and put something fun to look at there Here's a tag and another another part of the little hymnal book and here's a little heart shaped charm with some lace stitched on the side to keep that little pocket closed another center. Here's a belly band with some more writing opportunities. It's a fun little advertisement for corsets. This little gal is my great aunt. Okay. 
Oh, and here's another side pocket, and it has some more of those chemistry cards. I just punched a hole in them, and they're held together with some Baker's, Baker's twine. Some more of my wa um, washi tape available on my Etsy store. <laughs> another little opportunity there for juicing up things. Some more space to journal and this is the back cover with a little pocket again um, some more cards to journal on and some music paper and a statement to do some